I'm gonna draw his little spider man, his little spider emblem here, and I'm just gonna simplify. I'm just gonna draw a circle like this. I'm gonna separate it, draw another circle. All right, welcome back to part two of drawing Spider-Man, a quick Spidey pose. So uh, in the first lesson, we got to this point. Hopefully, if you haven't watched that video and you wanna know how we got to this, go ahead and uh, watch that video first and come back here. Or you can reverse engineer and watch this one and then go back, up to you. Um, okay, what I'll do here is I'll create another layer. And if you're drawing traditionally, like I always say, go ahead and lightly erase. Um, which is the equivalent of reducing the opacity. So if you're erasing, uh, you want your sketch to kind of look like this, right? Uh, on paper. And if you're using a tablet, you want it to look similar to this. The reason for this is because we want to keep these lines in the background head. Actually, I'll start with the eyes here. And I like the feature in Procreate where you can kind of, uh, simplify your curves. So I'll go ahead and do this. Now with this eye on the, the one that's, you know, this is a three quarter head view in case you didn't know with this, uh, you can either draw an eye popping out like that, right? Uh, which kind of, it looks fine or you can inset it and kind of go with along with the curvature of his bone structure which both are acceptable. It just depends on how you're stylizing your mask. I'll start it out like this and then I'll uh, come back and take a, another look at it later and see if that's the way I wanna keep it. So then I'll come, uh, we're having connection problems here. Okay, so then I'll come back and, uh, oops, let me redraw this. I'll come back and, whoa. So I'm going to stylize this as much as I can. All right, so here we go. So we have the eyes in place and, uh, you know, we're just going to do a pencil sketch here. We're not going to ink this or anything. We'll do some of the details on the uh, webbing and all that good stuff. I think it's fun. And, and a lot of people, a lot of my students ask me, you know, how do you draw the webbing? Uh, I'll show you my method. So then I'll just start doing the curves of his head. And uh, make an angular jaw shape here, like that. And I, I, I like the, I like this kind of a shape for Spidey's head. Now with the new Spidey in the movies, uh, he's got more of a round shape, not, not an egg oval shape like this. So it's really just preference. So I'll just draw his shoulder in here, and I'm keeping everything very simplified because I know that I'm going to come back here and draw in his uh, webbing. So I don't really need to worry about too many details here. Just shapes. One, my, my students probably get really annoyed because I always repeat this, but I always tell them, don't forget to, to just think in shapes, draw in shapes, pay attention to shapes. That's all you really need when you're drawing, especially comic style art. If you get your shapes down and you know where things go, you're you're already there i mean it, it, then it's just refinement and and you know customizing your own style but yeah i mean shapes are everything when it comes to art because what they're doing is they're communicating with your mind's eye and the, the eye of your reader um what, what what would i do okay so we have his head turning this way so i'll go ahead and throw in this uh this is a trap muscle which will kind of interlock with the shoulder and then it goes up towards his neck. And so I'll draw a couple of these straining lines to show that his neck is straining a little because he's turning and he's, it's almost, it's a flex, you know, he's got this, uh, Spidey's flexing on us. And then we have this, uh, muscle that connects to the back of the ear, turning her around here. And then I'm going to keep the rest kind of uh, to our imagination because I'm going to be drawing a lot of webbing back here. Uh, I'll move into his fingers here. Now, 
so I'll start with the tip of his finger now because that's closer to us. Then we have one knuckle, right? And we'll turn in to this knuckle and then pop in. Now, this other finger will pop in over here and I'm kind of curving it upward and then it's gonna curve towards us. So we have this knuckle and then this knuckle, All right? And don't worry, if uh, because we're going to be filling these in with webbing, so don't try and get them perfectly drawn. But you know, just get them to the point where you you feel happy with it. Then I'm going to just draw this pinky in, which is smaller, and then I will go ahead and um, draw the shape of his thumb here, curving out like that. And everything is kind of connecting inwards. You see, it's and and this is as far as I would go on this hand. And uh, wow, I hope we can finish all this in this uh, video. We're seven minutes in already. I'll try and edit it and shorten up the video. So then I'll come over here and I'll just work on this shoulder. Now we have the tricep. And again, I said this in my last course, if you don't know your muscles very well, and if you haven't really mastered anatomy, I really suggest uh, looking into my course I just launched on um, Udemy, Skillshare, Gumroad. Uh, it's called How to Draw Simplified Superhero Anatomy. And basically it's just this approach that I take um, where I, I'll put links here in the description, but I basically, um, I focus on all the shapes that I want and then I come back and do the details. And a lot of people, a lot of artists and aspiring artists and budding artists, they come in and they try to draw everything perfectly the first time. And that might work for some people, but it didn't work for me. So I had to teach myself these methods. Um, and what I try to do is just capture all the shapes and then come back and refine. And that seems to be the, uh, the trick that works for me. And it's been working for my students as well. And it might work for you. Okay, then I'm going to come in and shape in this leg connecting to his hip. And then what I like to do with his legs is I like to give him these hamstrings in the back here, pop them out. I'll give him a line right here and another one. And I try to make this look organic and um, just show some shapes because if you're if you're passing this on to an, an inker or a colorist, what they're going to do is they're just going to go ahead and, you know, um, ink along these lines that you're creating for them. And then they're going to color and, and contrast them to make them look like, you know, they're three dimensional. They're going to add volume to them. Like here where this is inset, you know, we want this to be kind of shaded in and, and I, I like to put his little spidey belt here. Right, and then um, we'll continue with this leg. Now I'm, I'm keeping this very simple. Generally when I sketch, I sketch with pencil and paper and I take my time and uh, I can be a perfectionist when it gets to the stage of rendering. I try not to be because it can take a long time um, and I try to produce as much art as I can, uh, as fast as I can, but you know, if you have something that's really important for you and you you really want to look the best, then I do recommend spending a little bit more time in, in this area, right? Once you've captured your information and you know where things are going, at that stage, you can go ahead and, uh, you, you know, you've, you've captured the gesture, you know what you're drawing. Uh, now you have a lot more time to refine and, and, and fine tune everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit, take a look. All right, looking pretty decent. I'll come here. Now, I'll just draw in kind of a a boot here. And then I'll keep this leg and foot very simplified. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. Because um, I'm going to leave a lot of this open. Because what I'm going to do is add some webbing, webbing here. Uh, costume details. Same thing here. I'm going to leave a lot of the details out on this leg. Again, I like to pop this, these hamstrings out 
give a little musculature and just kind of hint at things. You know, we know that this is leg, uh, his knee here, and we're bringing that in. And then we'll pop in this calf muscle. And see, uh, it's really, really easy once you get the hang of this. And it doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to look consistent and almost, you know, pretty much believable. Uh, you know, but people read Garfield. I mean, these are comics and they're going to be exaggerated. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And, and unless you're really trying to, uh, you're, you're an artist that wants to draw everything very realistic and, and that could work for you. Um, and if that's your style, go for it. I'm going to draw his little Spider-Man, little spider emblem here. And I'm just going to simplify. I'm just going to draw a circle like this. I'm going to separate it, draw another circle like this, and then I'll shade it in. And then I will do a couple legs like this. One, two going upwards, and then And then that's it. I'm not getting too, uh, too, too much detail on that. Um, we're going to come back and draw on his costume elements here in a little bit. Wow, should I do a part three on this? Maybe I can. Okay, so we are at 12 minutes. I may have to do a part three. Okay. Draw on his thumb. And then same thing. Remember your fingers have basically three knuckles. So you get one, two, three, right? Same thing here. One, two, three, one, two. So at each knuckle is just taking a different turn. So we have one, two, three, and voila connect this wrist and we have our spider hand so yeah we have the actual drawing here and we are at uh, 13 minutes maybe i should stop here and come back uh let's see yeah because now all we have left is the co costume elements let's see what it looks like if we were to take this away yeah i mean it looks decent enough right um so now we just have to add in the webbing. So I'll come back and make a quick video on that because that's the fun part and it does take a little while. Um, so we'll end the video here and I'll see you in the next one.